Hi, grade ones. I hope you're having an awesome week. Today's challenge is a scavenger hunt, so I hope you have your eyes peeled. We are looking for 3D shapes in your house, outside of your house. I tried to look outside and trust me, it was a challenge. I had to go to a lot of playgrounds to find these shapes, but I was really careful not to play on the playground just to find the shapes. All right, are you ready? The first shape you're going to be looking for is a sphere. So it is round all the way around. No matter how you look at it, it is always round. There are no corners, no edges, just round. So how many spheres can you find around your house and out in nature? I found a few much more in my house than I did in nature, but I'll show you the nature ones I found. All right, so the next shape you're looking for is a cone. It is a circle on the bottom, so perfectly round, and then it kind of goes up to a peak, a little point at the top. You'll notice that there's no edges, it's all smooth, except for at the bottom where there's that circle. How many cones can you find? This tree is cone shaped. So is this step. And this playground microphone. Okay, so next you're going to be looking for a triangular prism. And these can look a couple different ways but they will always, always, always have triangle shaped sides. Do you see that? One, two, three edges. The only reason this triangular prism is a little bit different is because it has a square shape on the bottom, but it is still a triangular prism because there are triangles on every side. This one's more of a true triangular prism because it has triangle, 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 triangle. How many triangular prisms can you find? This gate has a triangular prism on top. And so does the top of this play structure. Next, we're going to be looking for something called a rectangular prism. You'll notice it because it has rectangles on all of its long sides. Four sides. Four edges. Four points. But if you look at the side of it, it's a square. However, it is long, so we say rectangle. Two sides are longer than the other two sides. So it's a rectangular prism. This play structure is supported by rectangular prisms. So is this fence. And the base of this sign, you guessed it, rectangular prism. Okay, next on our scavenger hunt is a cube. These are easy to identify because their face is a square, the face being the flat part of the shape, and they always have four edges. Every face you look at is a square. It's kind of like dice that we play with. I had trouble finding these out in nature, so let's see how you do. How many cubes can you find? This was the only cube I could find. Please help me find more. Finally, the last shape you're going to be looking for is called a cylinder. It looks just like this. I found a ton of these out by the playgrounds. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe they're a strong building material, but they're going to be circular on the bottom. See that? But smooth, it would roll easily on all of its sides because it doesn't really have sides. It's kind of like a sphere where it just keeps going and going and going like a circle but it's long, so it's a cylinder. How many of these can you find? Tree trunks are cylinders. So are these yellow posts. And who could forget my very favorite coffee mug? Many garbage cans are also cylinders. Now it's your turn. Get out into nature, look around your house. How many 3D shapes can you find? Send me pictures. I bet you can find more than I did. Have fun!